Good morning and happy uh, Purim Cotton. We are learning the Mittler Rebbe's Mimer, which is the foundational text of Hemshechaim Bays, the end of Hemshechaim Bays. We are on page 398, the end of 398. Speaking about what mitzvahs, their mitzvah, what a mitzvah contributes to an ashama. So even though Anisham is a very high level of divine soul, but as it comes down below, it gets concealed. And in order to arouse and to awaken, <clears throat> to stimulate and get the Anisham's powers revealed, a mitzvah, which is from Kedusha Sa'atmus, as he put it, the mitzvah actualizes that divine Er Makif, as he said, both Mamayla Lamata and Mamat Lamayla and draws it down, down to the animal soul in the darkness of this world, as well as elevating and both elevating the existence and the nefesh al included the soul all the way to the highest levels of Gdusha Sa'atzmus. <clears throat> like you said, even in the Shama, in its root, a Chachma Vatsilus, or you can say, Pnimius Chachma Bina Vatsilus, It's not, it's not commensurate at all with the core essence of the emanator because is So even Keser, even the Eretzach, the refined light is also Ukam, is dark. And that's why you need to have the mitzvahs that <clears throat> reveal at that higher level of Eden and Sof into the Neshamas. And that's why he said, Lechem vade muva memela, sham shokhe seyeh zeh dektusha sa'atzmas, that this sham shokhe mekdusha sa'atzmas is, um, is in a form of dilug. It's a great leap. Because when it's, because you're do, talking about bringing from the highest levels of Eden Sof all the way down below, like he said, it's a great descent. It's a great leap. With increased descent and, and diminishment of atzmas down below. Like we see by Matan Tev. And that's what he said. So it's Vayeret. And there he was Mamshech Anoichi. And how do we access it? Through the Ramach Mitzvah which are encompassed, the Pneumius of Anoichi Zeh. All the Mitzvahs are encompassed. So therefore, these Mitzvahs is what connects the highest levels of Anoichi, like he said before about Anoichi, Tirgalti Lefraim, the highest levels of Anoichi, Stimet, the Kostimen, is able to be drawn down below. And that's why, Ein Zerach Mesab Chines Sitkes Hashem. This is only due to God's Dokkah. Because it's not a natural flow, a progressive flow. It requires a special effort. So as you see from this, that mitzvahs are like a gift. Without that, the nesham is still rooted in elikus, but it wouldn't have that conscious ability to access those highest levels. It would be a nesham trapped in this world. It could be a ben melech. It's the ben of the av, memoyach av, chelik elikam memal mamash, all good. But we see how difficult it is even with teirah mitzvahs. So the bottom line is, it's Sitka Sashem Barav Chazde, Shachainan Venason Tayra Mitzvah that he bestowed. And he was kind and gave Tayra Mitzvah Lahachis Ruach Shvalim to revive and to resurrect and to reinvigorate the Ruach Shvalim, the spirit of the downtrodden, the Sham is down below, Machaya Chaim. However, it comes in a form of Amshachair Makif, Bechinus Vehelem, Vilavush on the Sham Sisro. And then, obviously, through our Aveda, we reveal it, and La'asid Lav will be fully revealed, as we learned before about Elam Habo. And that's why the Zal say, In other words, it's a Lazakis, it's a schus, it's a merit. It's not coming from our effort. Our effort is to actualize it, but it's coming from the Abish to want to be Mazakos. That's why it says, Hashem Chefitz Laman Sidke. It's Laman Sidke, not like he says, Dafke, because it's Dokem Mamish. That's how he touches it.
So therefore, the neshama which comes down, like you explained earlier, is like ruach shvelim, like an oni. It comes down level by level. From etzim neshama through b'derech b'riyah ma'ayin liyash, atzilas b'riyah yitzira, till the nefesh asiyah, ata baras atitzat ata nefachta, it's a bleak, it's a state of gvul, bal gvul. The eight tuch la nefesh la kis la alis lemaya la kabel me eir pnei melech kai mamish. How can it reach those highest levels once the soul came down here and is somewhat is is in a state of nifred, separate, even though its root is connected? But how can it actively access it? So it's one thing of an asham is. Lamaila, so you could say Neshama Lamaila feels the, always the connection, but down here below the Neshama gets manifest within the body as we learn. The body affects it. Everything in this world affects the Neshama. So the answer is the mitzvahs that are Azdaka that Hashem gave us, Lazaka says this role, Sitke, Man Sitke, that He gave us to in order for us to be able to reconnect to that source even as we are below. That's what we've learned. I want to just add a few points here that were brought up, but I mean, worthwhile discussing. I'm, I'm, as you know, I teach Mitzray Shabbos Tanya. I'm right now beginning of chapter 18. And it's interesting, it's Mamish connected to this in some ways, because there he talks about how every Neshama has Ava Mesuteris, has fundamental connection and love to God concealed. It's Ava Mesuteris. So in the DNA of a Jew, of a Neshama, is a fundamental love to God. Earlier in Tanya, he spoke about the love that is generated through his bonus, through contemplation. But now he goes and addresses the very love that is inherent to every neshama. He mentioned it earlier also in Tanya, but in chapter 18, he really begins to elaborate on it. And he adds that it's Yerushalonum Avisenu. Where do we have it from? So like anything in our DNA, we inherit it. Here, we inherit it from the Ovis, who are Merkava, and the others have a particular unique connection, a shaman connection, a covered telekus, and they were mamshich into our genes, into our DNA, this av. So when you learn that Pedic in New Test, and you compare it to Pedic Beis in Tanya, in Pedic Beis, he doesn't mention Avis, Yerusha Avisenu. He just says, mal mamish, and that like Chochmet, that they come from Chochmet, which is from Moyach Av. So in other words, the Chelikel Mekam Mamish is manifest in Chochmah of Atzilus and Huva Chochmose Echad, like he explains in Tanya. So every Neshama has that connection. So a child of a parent, um, the mere fact that we are Bonim, Atem L'Hashem Elekechem, Ubni B'Cher Yisrael, by merit of that alone, we have a Chelikel Mekam Mal Mamish. It doesn't mention Yerushalayim Avisein. So the Tzamech Tzedek and the Maimorim explain, and those are explained as the Biurim and Tanya, they explain this in a few different ways. I'll show you in a second why I'm bringing it up in a moment. You'll see why. They explain that firstly, in Tanya, Pedic Beis, he only says we connect to Chachma Vatsilis. doesn't say we connect to the Eirein Sof within Chachma. So Tzemech Tzedek explains the Oves, HaMarkove, Hinen HaMarkove, they connect us not just to the Chachma, but to the Ein Sof that's within Chachma. So Anasham has also a connection through the Oves to the Eirein Sof that's one thing that Samach Tzaddik says. Another thing that's explained is that the Shamas, all of the Shamas are rooted in the Etzem. All of the Machshav, it doesn't make a difference between the Ovis, Moshe, the Rabbeim. Every Nisham is rooted in Yisrael, all of the Machshav. There's a beautiful beer from Rabbi Kadainer. Yaakov Kadainer was a Mittler Rebbe, a Chosid, and he explains this piece in Tanya. And he says there are three levels in the Sham. How they're all rooted in the Etzem, everyone's equal. Just like when you say a child and a parent, he gives an example. So when a, when, when, when a, when a father, you say from Tipus Mayachav, from the father's pleasure, when he thinks about and concentrates, ultimately from that will give birth, that will, that will, uh, that will uh, as he explains in Teir Eir, he explains that Tipus Mayachav doesn't mean physically that a part of the brain becomes part of the seed. But the seed is born like Enkisha El Ladas through the concentration of the father of, of his Meach, Chachma, that produces a seed. But it's a pleasure on that level of Tainug of the father, you can't even compare it to a child yet. There's no child, there's not even a seed. Then there's the second level where it becomes a seed. 
And there's the third level where the seed actually conceives a child. So you see here the same thing he says in the Shamas. All the Nishamas are rooted in the Sava, in the Tainuga Atzmi Lamaila. The Abish is Tainug. But there, there's no difference between one there. It's one, it's the concept of Nishamas. Nishamas. Then there's the Nishamas that comes down in, in the in the, star, in, in the lower levels. That's where you distinguish the Ovis, Hen and Merkava have a unique quality that they connect to the Av deeper than other Nishamas do. That's why we call them Merkava. That's why we call them um, higher level Nishamas of Atsilas. And then there's Nishamas of Bia. The Nishamas, as they connect, as they distinguish between when you talk about one child and another child. So in the very etzim of the father, it, all the children are equal. It's when it comes down into lower levels, that's where there comes the distinctions. Bottom line relevant to us is, all of this is about the neshama itself. And it's not a contradiction to what we're learning here. Because that's talking about the neshama, that the neshama comes down with resources. Firstly, it's a chelik elikam and mal mamsh. Secondly, it has the Yerushim Avisenu, the Ava Mesuteris. So that means that the Neshama is fully armed as its personality is divine. But you still haven't talked about how do you actualize it? How do you actualize the Ava Mesuteris? How do you actualize this connection of Chelik Elikam and Mal Mamish? A Neshama we know down below is Behelem and a form of Nifrit in the body and the Golos. That's where mitzvahs come into play. That's why I said that we have the example of, let's say, a soldier. The soldier can be fully equipped, meaning equipped, meaning he has all the skills and the training, and he has everything he needs to fight the battle, but he needs weapons. He actually needs weapons. He needs something to, to arm him, an arsenal, an artillery. And that's where the mitzvahs are the gift that Hashem gives us. Mat and teda. Because you could argue, if an Hashem has all these qualities, what do you need mat and teda for? What do you need teda? What do you need mitzvahs? That's not the case. So now the neshama that has these this connection to the divine. In Chachma Vatsilis, like he says. And even Eirein Sov, that lies within Chachma. Through the Yerushim Avisenu, like I just explained. It's still not actualized. And that's where mitzvahs come to manifest, because mitzvahs come from the Kedosh Elyon, and they're not subject to the Tzimtzumim that we're talking about. Because the mitzvah was not Mislavish Beguv Gashmi and the Nefesh Abamis. The mitzvah, the, the mitzvah the remains Ratzin Elyon, pure Ratzin Elyon. It comes down in a tzimtzum because it has to manifest in physical objects. But the mitzvah retains a sheker dishon of a mitzvah That's why all of us say the neshama itself is kaddish. What do you need a sheker dishon of a mitzvah But the neshama is behelam, like he says. And even when the mitzvahs are mamshik, it still remains behelam until us and love it. So the mitzvahs add that whole dimension. Like it's saying like you have a pilot flame within you but you need to fan the flame to get it burning. A pile of flame, like a pintalayid, or a person who's an uh, uh, avamisoteris, is still remains dormant and trapped within. And that's where the mitzvahs come. I just wanted to bring it in because since I'm, as I said, teaching Tanya, I see it all really connects. And it's very clear. He says, clearly, neshamas are rooted in chachma vatsilis. That's straight from Tanya, uh, Patek Beis. And yet, he still says that, that, that a mitzvah still brings it higher to Eirei Sof Mamish. And even when it comes into Neshama, it's with a Dilu Godel, because even Keser is Ucham Hu, Legabe Ilus, Kodam Ilus Ha'ilus. Ilus Ha'ilus. So, for Shor Chochme. And that's where mitzvahs come in to add a whole other dimension, even more than the Ovis uh, add. Because the Ovis, again, give us our genetic makeup and the DNA that we're connected to the divine. And the mitzvahs actualize it and actually manifest, I would say, even more than what the Neshama has on its own. He said that very explicitly. So I just wanted to add a few pieces to explain that. Okay. So unless there are questions, any questions? If not, I will um, continue at the bottom of page 398. Remember, all this began when he started talking um, on page 397. 
previous page, he started Zeutz Doka Tanemim Goy. That's Doka elevates Goy, the people, the nation. And he's been explaining how Zdoka and mitzvahs are synonymous, a mitzvah is Doka. Now he's continuing the discussion. The Zeutz Doka Tanemim Goy. Lies. I just want to check. Do you all hear me well, by the way? The connection is good? Good morning. So it's double yes, it's great. It's great. Okay, fine. The Zelts, the Akadrem Goy, Leah is Shakol Inyan the Eir Hazaru al Tzadik Elyon. That all these Hamshachas Achsodim, the transmission of the Chsodim, of the kindness, we talked about Chesed Elyon, Yemin. You mean Mekareves, you mean Techapkeni, the embrace, the hug. All these Amshachas are Sodom of Er Zerua Latzadik Elyon, which we discussed on the last page. That Er Zerua, it's a light, an Er, an energy that is implanted, sowed, Zerua Latzadik, Zerei Tzdokis, Zerei Zerua Latzadik, but mitzvahs, Shenikroi Tzdokik Canal. So there's in all the mitzvahs is planted. The Ratzna Elyon, the divine, and the Eden Sof within the Ratzna Elyon, the supernal desire in these mitzvahs, in the mitzvahs that are called Zdaka. Right? Like you said in the previous page. He says, Zehu b'chinesirideh v'at simsum de er yosher malmai lamato. This is all in a state of descent from the top down because it's bringing down these highest levels of what a mitzvah is. A mitzvah is God's will, and that will manifests and travels downward into this world. So it comes down, This is a direct light. Er Yashar always refers, in contrast to Er Chazer, which is from the bottom up, Er Yashar is direct from the top down. From the top down. In the Amshach is of this transcendent energy. The embrace with the supernal right side. You mean it that the divine embrace with the right, which right refers to chesed. So chesed is embracing us, and that's a Mamail Lamata experience because basically Hashem, through his mitzvahs, is embracing us. And that's why mitzvahs are makif, just like talus and phil, and embraces us. Shayated Vinishpal Ad Lamata Biyasid. Like we learned earlier, the first effect of the mitzvahs, impact, that it descends and lowers itself to very, all the way down below, like a child. I pampered, I took care of, I nurtured Ephraim. Ephraim is the child. That means the God, the, the Odom God, the giant of giants, is bending down and coming down all the way down to his child. So that's the Moshal for the mitzvahs, like from the highest levels, it's coming down, like a, the, down all the way. The next page, 399. Canal. So I, I don't think the Rebbe Mitla Rebbe has said something, a new idea. He's summing up what we've learned. So whatever we've heard, we've already learned this before, but he's summing it up now in the context of Tzedakah Tereimim Goy. That Tzedakah, which is mitzvah, Tereimim, elevates. But first it brings it downward. And now in the parentheses, he has some more psukim to make this point. And here again, where does the parentheses end? Let me see if I can figure it out. Okay, we'll figure out where the end is. Okay, so he brings now some more verses to make this case. Vahainu, it's dark to Chenani. So the word Tereinani means, like from the word Canaan, like he says afterwards, Canaanehu, means to establish. Tikainani. 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 Okay, I'm glad we have you here. My pronunciations are usually off. Okay. So Tikainani means like I have built you. I have structured you. I have established you. Not sure what it means in the context of the Pasuk in Yeshaya. I'll actually look it up. Is Dr. Tikenoni, you said? Tikenoni. 
Kikainami. Okay, now let me look up. Let me look it up just to see. A minute. Let me look it up. Yeshaya. What is it? Yeshaya. It will Nadal. be established. Kikoinoni. It will be established. Yeah. I just want to see. Be established. I think I said that word, right? I think so. Yeah. Yeshaya. Before. So what does it mean? Stuck it will be established? I think that's what it means. Probably. Let's see. Oh, 54, sorry. I wrote the next one, the wrong one. He's talking about that you will do, you will be established and important in the world, and you will be far from the way that people are, don't care for other people, etc. That's what he says. When you have the tzloka, that will establish you, make you very important, and will protect you. You won't have to be afraid from okay. bad behavior. So what's the relevance here? Tzloka tikainani. Tikainani. Okay, so Zdoka basically establishes something. That's what he's saying. Like he's saying here, the Zdoka of the mitzvahs, what it does is it embraces and draws down these Sodim and establishes something. Like he continues. I'm not sure what Cain means. Cain from the word Cainani. Cainani. Probably. From the word Cain of buses. Buses means established. That it has established foundation. Unless Cain means something like that. From the word, what is the what is the root of the word Kainani? Kainon, Mohoin. Let's see, let's see what Ashi says. Okay, established. Kainu bosis lias mochen bekeli loir hachesed elyon. So now he's adding that the word kain bosis it should be a mochen. A mochen is like a uh, a uh, a chamber. Kan kan is a base. Is a what? Base a base. Yeah, a kan like 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 yeah yeah like like kine kine of kine. Yeah. Yeah. Khan is a base and boss is a foundation that it should be a mochin vikli. A mochin is like a, a, a chamber, a, a container. A mochin vikli la eira chesed a elyon to this, to the, to the light of this higher level of chesed. So now he's adding that Zdoka is also creating an established place where the chesed um, dwells. Yeah. 
Wait. And Mochin is also from that word, from the word Cain. Yeah. Kosav, like we say in the Shmini And our the, the, our handiwork, the things that we've built, will be will will be established. Will establish. is boy. I shall be explained. So this is actually the, the tefillah that Moshe Rabbeinu said when they erected and they established the Mishkan. That was the brach. He gave Maisi Yudenu Kinenehu. Make it to exist solid. Yeah. He was giving a brach to Adon and the Bonim and the, when they dedicated the, the Mishkan that it should be in a if and that it should become established in a permanent way. You name it, yeah. Elenu Maisi Yudenu Kinenehu. Yeah, Kinenehu. Right. So all this is coming to say that it's not just that it's mamshich, the, the, the mitzvahs are not just being nimshich and being drawn down, it's being bizdokah, and the tzedakah also establish, get established that there's a keli that will manifest it. Shazel, and this happens, kesha tzedakah b'bechinah seregel, that the tzedakah is a b'bechinah seregel, She tells us to look in a mimer of the Mitla Rebbe, another mimer. So there's a discussion how the Zdoke, there, there's there's a, somewhere it's a posuk. I don't remember exactly the Loshan. Maybe it's connected to Tirgalti Lafrayim. That the Zdoke comes down when, in the Bechinus Regal, all the way down below. So when you give Zdoke, you give Zdoke to, a, to the downtrodden, the, we said before, the Ruach Shvalim. Ruach Shvalim. Nimshech la'ani, the tzedak is coming down in the state of regal. There's a posik, I can't remember the posik right now, but I see it's taken the Mitla Rebbe, and I have to look it up. Canal. So, what do you see from this? That tzedak, when it comes downward, and it could be that the parentheses should end after Kamoshi is boiled. There should be two parentheses there, because this may be going back regal to Galti, Kamoshi Nimshech la'ani, Canal. Like we discussed before, like when you plant seeds in the ground, dafk in the ground, you don't plant them in heaven. You plant them in the lowest level in the earth. That the earth is my footstool. So ragli, the earth refers to the lowest level. Hadem ragli, my footstool, but you, where the foot rests. So that's what Zdaka does. And the parenthesis, he added that concept of, of kenoni, the concept of establishing that it should become a mochen and a keli that manifests this level of chsodim al That's momayla lamat. Okay. So he said more or less what he said earlier with some additional nuances, additional points. Now comes the second side. Ah, mavur lamayla. However, it was explained earlier that that mitzvahs don't just bring hamshachem amayl lamata; they also mamata lamayl. They elevate the soul. They elevate the child. The father lifts up the child to his face and embraces him, and with pleasure and delight. That the mitzvahs you also have the law erchezer. Till now, we talked about er yosher. This is the hamshach of chesadim down below. But there's also the halal of Er Chazer, the refractive light, the light that comes from bottom up through mitzvah shenikl tzedakah dafka, mitzvahs which are also the emphasis of tzedakah. Tzedakah doesn't just bring it down, it also elevates lahachis ruach shvalim. It also elevates and revives and elevates the, 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 the downtrodden. Behainu mashu kosov, it's tzedakah tereimem goi. And that's the pasuk. That's what it says. Tereimim goy. Tereimim is an elevation. The tzedakah that you give elevates the goy, the nation. Shehein Yisrael. 
which guy is it referring to? The nation of Israel? They're called that one singular nation on earth. So it's talking about that Zdoka elevates them. Like it says in Tilim, that they are that that the Gdeshim to the sacred ones, the holy ones that are Dafke Ba'oritz on earth. Let me see the context of that. That Tilim Taz Zion. Gimel. Just want to see everything inside here. Always better. No, Tazayin Gimel. No, something's wrong. Tazayin Gimel, sorry. Yeah. For the sake, for the sake of the holy ones who lie in the earth. So what is what do we see from this? That's goy echad ba'aretz. That's what he wants to emphasize. That that the agay echad ba'aretz we said before aretz is the lowest level hodem ragli, the aretz lamata, ziriyeh ba'aretz. You're planting the seed in the earth, and who's that referring to? Tereimim goy the goy echad ba'aretz kadesh mashabaretz heim sheheim kadeshim. They are sacred. They are holy. Bebchinas kedusha sa asm kedusha asm is the mitzvahs canal. Why the kadeshim? Because the kedusha the mitzvahs that is in them. That in that creates that they be sanctified. Shaydei mitzvahs misreimem umisalin neshamis yisrael lamaila maila bechinis kedus sheelyan the atzmi supreme saint sof baruchu. Because through mitzvahs, the neshamis yisrael tereimem goy are elevated and exalted lamaila maila in the level of kedus sheelyan like we learned before of atzmis and primius ein sof, the core and essence of ein sof baruchu. Kamesha Kosov, like we said the Pasuk before with Tergalti, with Ephraim, uh, k- 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 what do we say? Kachom, Kachom, al To lift them and take them on your arms. That means you're lifting them up. Kanal, Lamail Baharba, which is a lot higher. Gam Meshera Sharishan, the Nisham Yisrael, higher even that, even from the first root. Of the souls of Israel, but primi is the Chachma Datsilis canal. They're being lifted up even higher than Chachma Datsilis. That's the Chom al say. That's through Tzedaka Tereimim Goy, that the Goy Echad Ba'aretz, in the Aretz, is being lifted all the way up to this highest levels. That's why they're called Kadeshim Asher Ba'aretz. V'zeuk Ma'in HaKtzira. This is like the idea of reaping. We learned before about Ziriya and Ktzira. You plant the seeds. They said, Zriya, you planted the seeds. Dafka in, the, in the earth. But now we are reaping. That comes after the sowing and the planting. Remember the Pasuk said earlier, we learned earlier on the page, I believe it was yeah, right here on page 397. So he said, he said, um, where was the Pasuk? Uh, yeah. So he said, Zodokis, Zodu Lochem, Zodokis, the Kotsu Lefi Chesed. So this is the Fi Chesed, also the Chesed of the Yemin, of the Mitzvahs, of Zodokis, that now you're reaping, the Fi Chesed, the Hesha Eila Lamaila, Bekifle Kaflayim, that the Neshamas are, are elevating higher and higher, double and quadruple. With an abundant blessing, so much more in this uh, dividend, in this uh, produce, more than what you had in the original seeds that were planted. So when you plant seeds, when, when, when the harvest comes, it's far more than what you planted in there. It grows in abundance. That's the aliyah that happens to the neshamas down below through mitzvahs. The erzaru al and this is what it says in the future. Higdil Hashem Lase Simelo. Higdil. The great things that Hashem will do with these. 
What is this referring to? He's, in other words, the godless that will come, the greatness that will come to Neshamas, that will see, he says, La'asid lavi in the brackets. Let me see below what they say. Okay. The greatness that we will achieve. Like it says elsewhere. And this is what we say in the future. We talk about Avram, Yadano, Yitzchok, Yadano, Ato Avinu Mamish. Talk about Yaakov. Dafke, you will be our father. Ki Avram, Lo Yadano, Vahainu. What does that mean? Metam, Maisa, Mitzvah, Dafke, She'el, Lemayla, Meshedah, She'ovis, Bechagast, Da'abba, Ve'ima. Why Avram was such a high level, mentioned before the Yerushim Ovis, and yet there's Ato Avinu Mamish even higher than the Ovis. Why? Because Maisa Mitzvah elevates the Neshama higher and higher, even than the root of the Ovis, of Chagas, of Chochmem Bina of Atzilus. Chagas da Ava, or Chagas da Atik Yemen. Or even Chagas of Atik Yemen. That, because now we're elevated, Rakpa Atzmus ain't so Baruchu Mamish Canal. The Mitzvahs lead us even higher than Chesed Gvur of Abba Ve'ima, and even higher than Chesed Gvur of Atik. All the way to Atzmo saying so Baruch Mamish Baruch Mamish Canal Vidal Vidal Lemev. So we have here a summation that the mitzvahs both draw down, as he explained on top of the, the beginning of the paragraph, and the second half how it elevates to these highest levels the neshamas that are down below. Okay. Any questions? Okay. So, so I'm going to just continue on. Now he's going to come back in the next few pages until the bottom of page 4, 402. We're going to discuss, remember the beginning of it is Ner Mitzvah. Why a mitzvah is called a Ner, a candle. And now, based on all of this, we'll understand. It. That began, that topic began at the bottom of 390. We're now 399. The bottom of 390 started talking about why near mitzvah. And there, from there, he went into the whole discussion of the Kedusha. He said, to understand this, why mitzvah is called a ner, we have to understand, he said, um, what a mitzvah is. A mitzvah is called Kodesh. Kodesh, I should say. Kodesh. So, and there he asked the question, how does a mitzvah have the power to take physical items and create a taste of the and increase light in the neshama? So that we've answered. Now he's going to come back and say, and all this can be understood from the Pasuk, Ner Mitzvah. After everything we discussed since bottom of page, top of page, since uh, since it, basically from page three ninety one till here, Yuvan Gamkein Atam will also understand the reason Masha Mitzvus Nikroim B'Shem Ner, why mitzvahs are called Ner Mitzvah, Gamkein, meaning also like the Ner Hashem Nishma Sodom, Meshakosav Kaner Mitzvah Canal. We'll understand why mitzvahs are called a candle. V'Yesh B'Zeh Gimel Dvarim. And just like we learned about the neshama that has ner, a candle has three things, a wick, the oil, and the flame, the fire, the a light that it creates. Here too, shemen upsila v'er canal. That has three things, this ner. The oil, psila, the wick, and the er, and the light that it creates, canal, like we learned earlier. So how does that play itself out? What does that mean exactly in the context that we learned here? Remember, the neshamas come down below the mitzvahs are given to them as a gift, zokeh. They are manifesting gashmis of the world to give power, both to draw down the highest level of chesed elyon from the highest levels, and also to elevate the neshama and, and everything with it. So he's now going to explain how that all is indicated and hinted to in the word ner mitzvah. Behine, and now. Like we explained before, 
earlier. Why mitzvahs are called the names Doka? How the are based in Yon, we learn. There are two things in this, two, two aspects. Echad, inyan shal ashpa lakus. There's the ashpa mamayl lamata, the transmission, the divine transmission. In the state of the higher chasadim and kindness and gener and 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 uh, generosity, ma'ir has a ruah tzaddik elyon, from the light that is planted for the tzaddik elyon, a light like seeds that are planted, b'chol mitzvah mitzvah canal, in every specific mitzvah is planted a erz So that is one thing, the ashpa of chasadim elyonim. That's what a mitzvah does. It's like seeds that God, divine seeds that are planted in each person, in each mitzvah. Babes, and what was the second thing we learned about the mitzvah, the tzedakah, the mitzvahs and tzedakah? Not just that it's nimshel, but it's neskabel, it's received and contained, like we learned at the top of the page, to kenani, that it's established. It's not just you could have, for example, you could have a hamshacha that comes from above, it rains, but it gets wasted because there's no kalim to hold on to it. Here you also have a keli. Kalim. Rabim, kamoya makabel, shefetz doke. That there's someone that's receiving the flow of this charity. Shu kamoya oni, shemakabel moshe kanal. Like the pauper, the poor one that's receiving from the ocean. So yes, the Oshad has to give, the wealthy one has to give, but, the, but you also want to have that the Oni be a keli for it to receive. Shehein neshamis Yisrael, what is that in the nimshal, in the moral? The Bekabal is the neshamis Yisrael, begufim in bodies. The souls down here below are the recipients of this dhaka. Like we said, lahachis ruach shvalim, this dhaka, this mitzvah, give us the ability to elevate. Uh, and what is it in mitzvahs? That's in the shamas, they're the keli. In the mitzvah, you also want a keli. So in mitzvah also you have to have that. That's the clay maisa mitzvah ba'atzme. The mitzvah itself is a keli. That's why mitzvahs have particular guidelines of what's a mitzvah, what's not a mitzvah. So let's say when it comes to zdoka. Yes, there's the keli of the recipient, the poor person who's receiving the charity, but there's also the maisa mitzvah itself has to be done with a keli. Either you give it in a keli or you give it in a way that, uh, that a person can contain it. That the mitzvah itself, you have to create a keli and a mochin and a uh, container to receive the Hashra of Igili Eirats and Elyon, this manifestation and revelation of the light of the divine will. That manifests in this act. So every mitzvah has its keli and its conditions, its shiurim, its measurements, its rules. That's the keli you make. For example, how do you, how you create tefillin? You can't just be mamshich the oiris of film. Film have to be made a certain way. So, in addition to the gavra, the person who's putting on the film, like in this case, the person who's receiving the zdoka, the ma'isa mitzvah also has a keli in it. Because if you don't just want the amshacha, you want the amshacha to be contained and integrated. The ma'isa is dafka. Dafka in this ma'isa. And the mitla rebbe continues. Now we know the Eivarim, the 248 limbs, are compared to 248 kalim. When you say, let's say, klea ayin, the eye. The eye is a keli for the power of vision. The ear is a keli, is a container for the power of hearing. So every one of the 248 Eivarim, they're containers for the gili air, for the energy or the faculty the sublime or the, the ethereal faculty and vitality that manifests within them. So, so too, he's now comparing that to mitzvahs. Kach ramach mitzvah sesa, which correspond to the ramach evarim, the 248 positive mitzvahs. Next page, page 400. Nikroim ramach evarim the malka lamayla kiyadua. 
They're called the 248 supernal kingly, you can say, the limbs of the king. So obviously it's not physical, but they correspond. Just like we have 248 limbs, so too, Lamila, this 248 so called Kalim, Kiyadua. What are they Kalim for? They're the Kalim for the Amshacha of the, of the Gdusha that manifests within them. So you see here that the mitzvah also has a keli, not just the, not just the neshamis, the recipient of the mitzvah, or the recipient of the benefits of the mitzvah, but also the mitzvah also has a keli, which is all going to be relevant, obviously, to ner mitzvah, because we say that the mitzvah has in it also a keli. We'll soon see. mitzvah Hashem. That's why they're called. And this is the meaning why they're called mitzvahs, the mitzvahs of Hashem. So it doesn't just mean godly mitzvahs. They're mitzvahs Hashem. They're mitzvahs that are keli to the oil of Shem Avai that manifests within them. So the Shem Avai is a tremendous level of divine energy. And mitzvahs Avai means the keli for, these, for this Shem Avai that manifests in them. And the inyan of this is why is it so important, the Kalim? Because as much as the light, tra the transmission of the energy is important, but you don't really have transmission of energy, it's only when you have Kalim to hold on to it. So, if it's, as I mentioned before, someone can send brachas, but if you don't have a pockets, or you don't have a basket, or you don't have something to hold on to it, the blessings will be, God forbid, wasted. A teacher teaches, but the student has to be a Kalim for it. So he says, so, Kalim that contain, that hold on to, that are like handles, that grasp and internalize this air dafke. That's why. He's giving now another reason why the mitzvahs are called zdoke. So they're called Kalim Rabim, that, that, that all the mitzvahs that the Shanasim begins Kalim Rabim, they create many containers. Nicholas Doke Behei. Like Tzedek, hey. The Chinus Mekabel, the Heich Sodim, Hakelim, the Hakelim, the Rotsna Elian Shanimshuk Mitzad Atzme Canal. So Tzedek, hey, means the hey is the Bechinus Mekabel. So Zdok is made up of two words, Tzedek and hey. Tzedek is the Nim is Nimshech, the tzedek is the kindness that straws, and the hay is beginning makabul of the heich sodim that encompass in them the rotsnayan that is nimshech on its own. I think that's what he means to say. Shanikra mitzvah say, Shanikra mitzvah. They're called zdoke, zdoke behei. Not tzedek, but zdoka. Yeah. You have to say the hay is like the makabal, the keli, for the whole experience. Hakelim the rotsna elyon. Echsad makelim of the rotsna elyon. Shanim shech mitzad atzme. That's what I think he means. Tzedek hay. I'll look into it some more, but that's what I think he means. Okay. We finish this paragraph now. Any questions? And now he goes back to explain that why it's called a keli, why it's called a ner rather. The kach yuvan, based on this, so too will understand gam came the inyan atam shenikra mitzvah b'shem ner. This will also help us explain the reason that a mitzvah is called in the name of a candle. Why a ner? Remember, he asked the question earlier: What's the connection of a mitzvah to a candle? And why are there other things not called a candle? So here it says shuzeu b'chins hakeli laer. A candle, ner, is not talking about the light itself. It's talking about the keli, the candle that you make a container, lo'er, ha'elyon, she'yer b'mitzvah. It's a container that's being made in order to contain the er elyon that radiates in the mitzvah. So the mitzvah is a divine light. But imagine divine light without containers. Imagine divine fa the faculties without eyes and ears and limbs and organs and all the kelim of the body that need to contain it. You wouldn't have them functioning. 
So this is what it's referring to. Bahainu. This means Shubkinis Kaili Lubkinis Samshok the Air Kadesh Elyana Atzmihanal. That mitzvah, near mitzvah means that it's a keli. It's not just an er, it's a keli to what? To the transmission of which level? The er kedesh elyon. Remember we spoke er kedesh elyon is the highest levels of kedushas atzmus. But you don't just want it to be nimshech, you want it to be received. The second point, not just mamay lamata, but it should be received below. So that's amshach of the er kedesh elyon atzmi anal. Shanimshech beklei maise ha mitzvah atzmo kanal. That transmitted in the very clay mitzvah. So the mitzvah is a keli. Every mitzvah is a keli. That's why it's called ner mitzvah. Because a mitzvah is a container for what? For the kedesh elyon of rotsen elyon of primis and asmus ein sof. Al nikra mitzvah ner. That's why a mitzvah is called a candle. Shemachzik er, Like a candle that, that holds on to, that holds, that contains the, fi- the light within it. Kameshekosov kener mitzvah. That's what it, like it says, kiner mitzvah, that a mitzvah is a ner. It's a keli to the, this eir elyon, this kedesh elyon. Hainu masha ner machzik b'teche hashemen. Now more specifically, this is what the, the ner, the candle, the keli, contains within it, the shemen, the oil. Shekolo v'nichlo b'eir ha'idei ha'psila. That gets consumed and gets encompassed in the light, in the flame, through the wick. So the first point is there's a keli. In this keli, you have oil. In the oil, there's a psila. And when you light it, what happens is it gets consumed in the, in the fire. But, if we, but we began, the first thing is that the keli, the net is all three with a container that contains them all. So I'm not sure if the net is all three or is it, it's not a fourth thing. Some places it says it's a fourth thing. Here he's just saying that you have the keli Betecha, you have the shemen, which gets consumed and encompassed in the air through the wick. Shenikra ner memutzik kanal. Now he's bringing us back to all three things. We recall earlier he said the psila is the interface between the oil and the fire. Because if you don't have a wick, the oil will not produce the fire or will burn out very quickly or it won't burn at all. On the other hand, if you have a wick without oil, you don't have fuel. So you need to have the psila, the ner, is a mamutza between the, the oil and the fire. He has to, to explain what is the oil and the fire and the wick in context of a mitzvah. He explained the keli part. So that's the next section. Here I'll stop. And we'll learn what that means. How he explains these three aspects in the, in the mitzvah. With the neshama, we learned that it's the wick is the divine soul that manifests in the animal soul, the, the shemen, and converts it and into oil that fu- fuels divine love, the fiery divine love of the fire. But how does it work with the mitzvahs? That we'll discuss in the next classes. So we'll stop here by Ner Mamutza Kanal. Maybe I should have stopped two lines before, but it doesn't matter. He's bringing us back. He explained the keli. So a mitzvah is a keli, and now he's going to explain the details of these three how they interplay with each other as they create divine light. So we'll see how he explains that. I'll stop here by Nerma Mutsa Kanal. And anybody who wants to ask anything. Okay. Okay, so we learned today from the bottom of 398 till um, a third way down on page 400. And I'll stop here. I'll stop the recording here.